He considers himself an underdog and shares his story of determination to others. Jesse LeBeau was a, a hometown boy with a big dream, a dream that is now a reality. Channel 2's Arion Aaron Bureau explains in this week's Making a Difference. Youth speaker and basketball star Jesse LeBeau will be the first to tell you that these fancy tricks didn't come easy. People would go, hey, I have the race. I wasn't big enough. I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't strong enough. And I would never have what it takes to be a great basketball player. But practicing what he preaches, LeBeau now travels around the world encouraging youth to follow their dreams. You guys want to hear the story? Yeah. Speaking to a group of students at Bartlett High School, LeBeau keeps his audiences engaged by getting on their level. I am not currently or have I ever been related to Nick Jonas, Austin Mahone, or Justin Bieber. If I can hook him with that and then actually say something that means something, um, then it works. Once hooked, he goes on to share his story of what life was like growing up in Ketchikan and being an underdog. A love for basketball, determination, and hard work. LeBeau realized his purpose and hopes others can do the same. Once I kind of found my, my why for what I feel like I was put here to do, uh, it changed everything, and that's when I started speaking and, and having a lot of fun. His delivery is authentic, style is fun, and as far as driving his point home, well, he found a pretty unique way to do just that using a hoodie and a hundred dollar bill. Who wants it? What did these two do that no one else did? They took an opportunity. I saw someone do it one time, and it just like made such an impact and impression on me. I never forgot it. And there's always one kid that's just like, I don't care, I'm going for it. If it helps drive home that point, then it's, it's totally worth it, and it is a lot of fun. L.A. is home now, but LeBeau says there's nothing quite like coming home. I've always been a small-town kid, and, and it's always fun to come back and talk to these kids who can really relate to, you know, being out somewhere that's maybe a little far away from, you know, other places. For the Morning Edition, Arion, Aaron Bureau. Now, Jesse traveled to Seward after Anchorage. He's currently shooting a sitcom and looks forward to his next visit. Well, that's quite the deal. It that's is, isn't it? $100 bill every time he presents. That's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Goodness, I hope I'm at the next presentation. <laughs> now we